So as suggested, what to expect when you are expecting your first pair of glasses ever. Could be a wide range of things. So we've got a lot of different things to cover. I'll try and put chapters in on this one so you can get to what matters for you. Obviously what applies for some isn't gonna apply for others, but eh, we'll get to that. Today, let's dive into it and see what you should plan on happening when you put on that first pair of glasses and what you need to do to make sure it's a good process. As with all things, there are a lot of different facets to get into with this, as I mentioned right at the beginning. So let's start with the myopic. That means there is a little minus in front of your prescription. Not really much else going on there. It could be a large, moderate, or small, but the fact is myopes are kind of the easy one to get out of the way first. And that's why we're starting with you guys. Super simple. You're the ones that 90% of the time you're gonna put on the glasses, you're gonna love it. It doesn't matter if they're right or wrong. Suddenly there's gonna be shapes out there. Everything's gonna be crisp. The leaves on the trees are gonna be sharp. There's gonna be leaves on the trees. That's the easiest way to put that. So yeah, you guys kind of get thrown under the bus right off the bat because it is very often a super easy to handle adaptation. It's very short, very quick, very simple. Now, if you're myopic with astigmatism, which is very common, it's a little bit different ball game. It's not super bad, but as the astigmatism gets stronger, and this kind of applies to both. So really, if you have astigmatism in general, that means there's a number after the very first number on your prescription. So you've got the sphere on the prescription, then you've got the cylinder power on the prescription and an axis, which is just where that's at. So that's gonna be the three numbers that'll make up for the right eye and for the left eye. Nothing too crazy there, but if you have that second number on that one line, then there is some astigmatism correction there. You're not gonna die of astigmatism, it's nothing bad, it's just part of the prescription. It means your eyes shaped a little bit differently. It's not a perfect sphere, thus sphere correction. With astigmatism, it depends on how much power is really there on whether it's gonna be hard to get used to or not. Assuming this is, and you're watching this for the correct reasons, that this is your first pair of glasses ever, it's gonna feel weird at first. You're gonna put the glasses on, you're gonna have that same effect as the myopic prescription. Everything's gonna have details. There's details out there again. Whole new world. Everything is pretty and bright and colorful and there's contrast and it's nice, okay? But you're gonna feel it, it's gonna, feel kind of wacky and wonky. It typically takes a couple to a few days, depending on the person, to adjust to the cylinder correction. Even me, having worn cylinder correction in my left eye for the last 10 years, when that's adjusted, if there's a small increase in the cylinder power, or if the axis changes a couple degrees here and there, or even if something just changes on the edging end and it slips a couple degrees, still totally within tolerance and production standards, but you can tell it sometimes. Some people are more sensitive than others and that's why it's all very grain of salty when it comes to this type of thing. But typically that adaptation is gonna happen just a couple days, super quick and easy. You may have a headache at first, especially that first probably three days or so. Again, we all adjust differently. Some people that could be a few weeks. It's rare, but it happens. Yeah. Deal with it, suck it up, it'll be worth it in the end. The key for everyone, and I'll repeat this at each stage, is making sure to put the glasses on. First thing in the morning, as soon as you wake up, put them on, don't take them back off until you're going to bed. See you guys, I'm out, done. Other than that, they're right here. When you take them off, put them in the case. Less likely to have destroyed glasses if they're in the case, if they're not on your face. Remember that, you'll thank me for it later, or you'll be coming begging me to fix your glasses after the bad thing happens. The dog chews them up, you knock them off in the floor and step on them when you stand up. Cases take that a lot better than glasses. Just gonna throw that out there. Don't you forget it, it's important. Key detail, in the case, or on your face, simple. 
We'll repeat that rhyme 73 times just to make sure you get it, since people love when I repeat things so much. <laughs> now, the fun one, you hyperopes, I saved for last for a very specific reason. We hate you, and you hate us. It's a mutual relationship. We love each other, but you hate when we give you glasses and you hate wearing the glasses and repeat ad nauseum. You see where this is going. So what it amounts to with the hyperopes, your eye is able to dial in that plus power on its own to some degree. Of course, this depends on the prescription. If you're like a plus four or five, well, you're probably not watching this video because you got glasses when you were a wee little tot. But you're getting your first pair of glasses ever. It's like a plus one. Deep sighs, deep breaths, we're gonna hate each other for a while. It's inevitable. Your world functions. Everything looks good out there. You're starting to struggle a little bit. You know, things aren't quite right in here, but I'm still pretty young. So I need something. Well, your eyes have been doing the heavy lifting for however many years it's been because our eyes are able to dial in and supply some of that plus power. As we age, the ability to dial in that plus power slowly fades and goes away. So all that power you've had in reserve is now giving you problems. You're having eye strain. You're not able to read things up close because your eyes are having to use so much power out of what they have available to see off far away. So now when you're looking up close, that reserve power isn't there anymore. You put the glasses on, the brain says, no, it's not going to work. Everything's fuzzy out there. Well, what's happening is your eyes still have that plus power dialed in. Say you're a plus one. You're not wearing your glasses. Everything looks great far away. It's because your eyes are already dialing in that plus one. Now you take your plus one, you put it over the eyes. Now you're looking through a plus two and everything out there well, you don't have trees. There's blobs and shapes and colors, but there's no detail, there's no crispness, there's no leaves on the trees, everything goes away. For you, the adaptation process is longer and it's gonna take a little bit longer to get used to it. It's a fun one, but this is absolutely paramount that when you pick up the glasses, if you didn't just wake up, drive to the office, grab your glasses, put them on, then wait till tomorrow. Do us all a favor, Wait till tomorrow, put them back in the case. Thank you, get them fitted, whatever, go on about your day. Tomorrow, you wake up, you put on the glasses, you go, oh dear God, he told me it was gonna look like this. <sighs> nope, he said to leave them on. You better do that, because that's the only way you're gonna get through this. It's gonna suck at first period, but you'll be so much better on the other end for having done it. Your eyes will be able to relax more. A lot of that strain that's been there will be gone, which is great. Nobody wants eye strain all day long, whether you're actually experiencing the symptoms of it or not, you will know when they're gone. So put them on, wear it. Hyperopes are the worst about this. You put on the pair of glasses, it's fuzzy, forget it. Nine times out of 10, it sucks. It's just the way it works. It's not that the prescription is wrong, it's that the, your eyes are right, but they're doing the wrong thing to be right. That's the easiest way I can put it. Now, if you're one of those lovely little souls who have astigmatism on top of the hyperopia, which means, again, you've got the first number has a plus in front of it, the second number, there is one, and then there's an axis after that, which tells you that that's where the cylinder power is at. Oddly enough, I don't hate you as much and you don't hate me as much because far away, things were never super crisp to begin with because your eye was shaped a little weird. So your eyes can't just dial in that cylinder correction like they can the plus far away. Things are gonna look better. Your adaptation is still gonna be about the same. It still sucks because yes, your eyes are still throwing some plus power on top to try to accommodate and solve that because you still have that plus at the front edge, right? Uh, it's funny how our relationships develop based on what your prescription is. You won't believe me, but trust me, Come back to this video in three weeks and let me know if this all held true for you because, yeah, I've seen it a few times over the years. Over a decade now.
Holy crap. Uh, yeah. Now, if you are the unfortunate soul who is coming to this video because you were just told you have to get your first pair of glasses, not only is there a prescription there for distance, but you need help up close. Your first pair of glasses ever is some sort of bifocal or multifocal. In that case, we're not even gonna talk about you today. I'm sorry. I have another video that is a great topic on wearing progressive lenses for the first time. Overall, your adaptation is gonna be similar to these other points on the video, so definitely go back and check those out for myopia, hyperopia, and astigmatism to see kind of what to expect in just the experience of wearing new glasses. But the progressive changes things dramatically, uh, whether it's a line bifocal or progressive lens without a line, or even some of these newer digital ad lenses that aren't really super available yet, so I doubt you're wearing those. But who knows, maybe it's five years from now and you're watching this video and you're wearing these cool digital ad lenses and you're wondering what the hell I'm even talking about because they just work. Well, we'll see. <laughs> when that tech gets there, we'll see. Maybe I'll be eating my own words and watching my own video in the future like, damn, that's hmm, cool, yeah. Uh, well, I'm out of steam. I haven't had caffeine. It's a new day. I normally drink obsessive, excessive, excessively obsessive amounts of caffeine in a day. We're not gonna talk about that. So, I will catch you guys next time. Let me know your thoughts on this video. Hopefully this helped you, gave you some tips along the way. Now I will, for sure, if this is your first time getting glasses ever, watch my video on care and maintenance. You'll appreciate having gone through and done that as well. But this will give you a good idea of what to expect when you're expecting new glasses. So I'll catch you guys next time.